Okay, this tutorial is just on the basics of lighting. So if I'm in my Create panel, and then I'm under Lighting, I've got options like Target Spot, Omni, and some others. So I'm going to go to Omni Light, and just place an Omni Light somewhere on the screen here, usually in the top viewport, because it's a good place to uh, see where it's going to end up really clearly. Now you can see this light is underneath the surface of the part. It's actually inside this box a little bit. So what I'm going to do is move it. So I'll go to my Move and Select button. And I want to move it up here. So I'll right click to get into this front viewport and just drag it up a little bit. And I want to see what that light's going to do in my perspective viewport now. So I'll come over to my last item on the standard toolbar, which looks like a little teapot. That's my quick render button. And it looks okay. The lighting is hitting the light of the, it's hitting the ball and the box, but there's no shadow. And that's one of the things I want as a shadow. So I'll make sure the light is selected and go to my modify panel. And on my modify panel, starting at the top under general parameters, I'm going to come down a little bit to shadows. And I'll just turn shadows on and let's re-render that. So we've got a shadow. Let's close that. Um, let's look at another light type. Create, target spot. This is a light you can aim, spotlight. The target spot because you can press and drag and get the light itself and the target of the spotlight. So you can control both of those. And then I'll get into another viewport, like my front viewport. Make sure I've got my move and select button activated. And just drag this up and then see if I can hit the uh, target as well. And those can be, the target can be hard to hit if it's, there's a lot of stuff around it. So you may have to grab it in another viewport or you may have to zoom in a little bit. And just aim that a little bit. And now I'm going to go to that and go to modify. Not on the target though, on the actual target spot, the target light. And turn shadows on there as well. And just see what we've got the quick render. And you got to make sure you render the right viewport so I'm in the perspective viewport. And you can see we're starting to get some pretty complex lighting and let's close that and look at something else here. Um, I'll use the Omni light to illustrate this although both types of light have this which is called attenuation. That is where the light begins and ends. So I can go to near attenuation on this Omni and say show. And what it's going to do is it's going to show where the light begins and where it ends. Let me go to start here and bump that up. So what you're seeing is the, where the light starts is starting to grow here. It may be hard for you to see that, but let me maximize that a little bit for you. The light starts at this circle and ends out, it's really more of a sphere, here. And then the light goes to, from, it starts to drop off here, and it's completely dark by here. So this is what uh, attenuation is doing. It's uh, the light's picking up to full power here. It's at full power between these two, and then it drops off between these two. So you can set those, but it won't actually change it unless you say use. And then we can see how that affects things as well. Okay, so you can see a difference there. And if you want to control your lights, there's a lot more to discuss with lighting, but if you want to control your lights as a group, go to Tools, Light Lister, and you'll see all your lights. Um, you can turn them off or on here. You can change the name, change the multipliers. I want to show you that multiplier, by the way. See how obvious that is? Now, you can overdo it. But uh, within reason, you can change your, the strength of any given light or just add more lights. And you can change the color of the light and the shadows off or on, and there's more there as well. And that's just a quick look at lighting.